Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm addicted to this video. So this will be part seven. I kind of figured out an easier way to do this. I did this in like half the time as the first one. So I thought I might share this with you. We've got our two by two square. We are going to draw a rectangle that is 0.125, which is the thickness of our wood by 0.25. That's going to be our slot. Let's get it over here close and I'm going to zoom in. And let's put it, if you have snap to object, it'll snap right to it. Now let's set our nudge distance on 0.25. Control D, make a duplicate, and then move it down again, and then Control D, Control D. Take these exact same ones, Control D, and move them over to right there. Take your virtual segment delete key and decide that we'll decide that these will be the male side. So we're going to delete that line, delete that line, delete that line, delete that line, delete that line. These are going to be the the opposite. Delete that line, that line, that line that line. Take your smart fill tool and fill that in. Move it out of the way and get rid of this. And the reason we're getting rid of it is that reason right there. You could weld that together, but I just, I like the smart fill tool. I'm going to left click. These are going to be our males parts, even though this has male looking parts. I'm going to name this one the male. I'm going to change my nudge distance now to 0 0.01, like we just did in the other video. I'm going to select these. I'm going to take the shape tool. I'm going to select it. I'm going to select these. I'm going to go up with one nudge. This down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. And you are done. That's all four sides basically going to be exactly the same. And just to kind of prove that it works, control D and make a duplicate of it. Grab that node right there and snap to right there. Well, matter of fact, we need to grab that node and snap to the very top. There is our curse factor. So the males are that much thicker than the females and they will lock together. And you... If you haven't watched all the videos, you kind of need to watch all the videos and I'll show you how to test cut that. And you could test cut those two. It's just a two inch by two inch square. So it's just going to waste a little wood. And then just make two more of those. And but basically they're interchangeable right now until we put a top on them. And then I'm not going to redo the top because it worked out pretty well. But you might want to watch that video. So have fun. Make your own boxes. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.